On to another top story out of the U.S. British socialite Ghislaine Maxwell is facing federal charges of conspiring to sexually abuse minors with convicted pedophile Jeffrey Epstein. The 58-year-old made her initial court appearance from New Hampshire via teleconference, but she's being transferred to New York where the charges were filed. The case is being watched around the world because of its connections to the rich, powerful and to royalty. More in this report. She is the figure that keeps reappearing in images associated with the Epstein scandal. At Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago party in 2000, on the front row at Chelsea Clinton's wedding, and here right behind Prince Andrew and a then 17-year-old Virginia Roberts Giuffre, who claims in court documents that Epstein kept her as a teenage sex slave and that he was assisted in his efforts by a British woman, Ghislaine Maxwell. In the court filings, Giuffre alleges she was forced to have sex with the royal under Epstein's instructions, including in Maxwell's London apartment, and that she acted as a madame. All of these allegations against Andrew are being denied. Any suggestion of impropriety with underage minors was dismissed by Buckingham Palace as categorically untrue. Known as his right and left hands, Epstein described Maxwell in 2003 as his best friend in this profile for Vanity Fair, not a colleague or an employee. The revered daughter of the media baron Robert Maxwell, she grew up in their vast country estate in the idyllic Oxfordshire countryside. After her father's mysterious death at sea in 1991, falling from his luxury yacht named in her honour, Maxwell reportedly moved to New York to start a new life. So how did she go from highly educated and connected figure in British high society to an accused figure in the background of an investigation into underage sex trafficking? I'll do my best. Footage of her is as elusive as she is. Here, she's speaking on ocean sustainability at the United Nations in 2014, under her role as founder of the Terramar Project, a non-profit. It's a pledge. There's no taxes, by the way, it's all free. Um, and, you, and all you're signing is you love the ocean, that you will spread your love of the ocean because we're a digital platform. 